So in case you didn't know it already, uh, I'm transgender. Where are my trans people? Let me hear you. Really? <laughs> are you trans for real? No. Oh, no. I love it. You love it? I love it. You love it? You love it. Okay. I love it, too. That's why I did it. <laughs> but thank you for loving it. I appreciate it. Uh, there's never any trans people at my shows. <laughs> it's it's just a, it's just a weird thing, man. I uh, I transitioned about 21 years ago, you know, and uh, um, it was hard back then. It was a lot different. There wasn't a whole lot of help, no assistance, you know, uh, no internet really, and so I was kind of this stranger, you know, roaming around in the world, this kind of freak, you know, and and you wanted somebody to help you along the way, and my my female friends did. My sisters, I love you dearly, because they took me in and they, and they treated me like, you know, like one of them. They taught me how to shop. Uh, they taught me how to put makeup on. Uh, they even, at one point, they chipped in and sent me to lady camp. <laughs> no, no, there's no such thing as lady camp, come on. Come on, lady camp, really, come on. But they were very, very, <clears throat> very helpful. Uh, men, not so much. <laughs> men are really weird. It turns out men are really sensitive about penis things. They get... <laughs> but I had one guy say to me, why would you want to become a woman? Like, I don't know, because my salary's too high? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Another guy said to me, you know what? I feel like you're betraying our gender. I'm like, betraying our gender? What are we, spies? <laughs> what, what, what top secret information from the magical world of men do you see me sharing with the women folk? Are you afraid I might tell them that men only need two things? Food and a place to put their penis? <laughs> And that sometimes those two things are the same. 